Hi guys! So I'm trying out today this black watercolor paper, which I'm super excited about because I've never tried black watercolor paper before. So I think this is going to be pretty cool. And I have some pearlescent watercolors to work with on top of the black. This is Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black watercolor paper. There's a link in the description if you're interested in it. It's an 8 by 10 size, 140 pound, 100% cotton watercolor paper. It's really pretty actually. So we're going to use that today. And I also have these really pretty fine tech pearlescent watercolors. They come in a pan. There's lots of pretty colors and I'm excited to use them. I will probably be using all the warm colors for this one, but they do have blues and whites and everything. So you could see the variety here of all of these. There'll be a link in the description for these as well. If you guys are interested at all, they're really, really pretty and shiny. I also have this starry colors, watercolor. It's all golds with a silver. I never ended up using this one in this video, but it was kind of cool. And I grabbed my Paul Rubin watercolors just in case. I thought I might have to use them, but I actually didn't have to use them because I thought I might have to use the Paul Rubens first and then put the pearlescent on top as I didn't think it would be strong enough, but I didn't actually have to use them. The pearlescents were really vibrant and they held up on the black paper, which was pretty awesome. So I was super excited about that. I just want to mention that with black watercolor paper, it's a little bit different than normal watercolors. You have to build up your highlights. So because the paper is already black, you got to build up all your highlights. Whereas with normal watercolors, you're on white paper. So you have to build up your colors or your darks. So I just thought I'd mention that. And I hope you guys enjoy my Katrina Day of the Dead inspired watercolor. I didn't come up with this uh, concept in my head. I actually saw it online and thought it would be really great to play around with this black watercolor paper. So I just, I did do the design just kind of from my head, but I had seen this. So it's inspired by another artist who had already done something just like this. So this is me just playing around with black watercolor paper. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.